The Ghana Armed Forces will demand a lot from you. And so will the Ghanaian people. You're joining a profession whose members have not only upheld its image, but also continue to ensure that the territorial integrity of our nation is preserved, thereby making Ghana peaceful and stable. In order to execute your onerous obligations, the motto of the academy, service, devotion, and sacrifice must always be your guiding principles. You must bear in mind that the Ghana Armed Forces over the years has, has striven to maintain a healthy relationship with the civilian population in line with the tenets of national integration and cohesion. However, there have been a few unfavorable media reports about the actions of a few military personnel. I'm reminding you today that your commission into the armed forces places great responsibility on you to guard against the temptation of using the uniform to intimidate your civilian counterparts who are your natural partners in the development of our nation and whose taxes provide the means for your sustenance as members of the armed forces. I entreat you to put into practice the qualities of good leadership instilled in you at the academy. Lead an exemplary life and ensure that the men under your command also do the same. Ladies and gentlemen, government is aware of the infrastructural challenges confronting the Ghana Armed Forces and the Ghana Military Academy in particular. There is no doubt that the situation is putting undue strain on the Academy in its effort to provide quality training. The institution, since its establishment in 1960, has not witnessed any significant development in its infrastructure. I've been reliably informed, and you can all attest to this, that the local training area for the officer cadets has been encroached upon. That is why I've directed the Minister for Defense to take steps to wall off the remaining land. Plans have also been put in place for the building of new state-of-the-art infrastructure to meet the requirements of a 21st century training institution. This is a legacy I would want to bequeath to the Ghana Armed Forces. We live in a constitutional democracy which has taken the blood and sacrifices of several generations of Ghanaian patriots to establish. Our nation has become the standard bearer and beacon of democratic government on the African continent, receiving worldwide acclaim for its progress. We cannot achieve the growth in our economy that will provide the Ghanaian people with a dignified standard of living without peace and stability. As your Commander-in-Chief, I promise you, I cut the soil for the National Barracks Regeneration Project, which has since started in Accra and Tamale. It will be expanded extensively in 2019. Next month in November, the Minister for Defense will cut the soil for the construction of the Commander-in-Chief Sports Stadium program for garrisons in the country, with the first to be built in Tamale. It is gratifying to note the funds have already been secured for this project. Funding is also being secured for the construction of a new Army headquarters, which will begin before the end of the year.
A contract has also been signed for the construction of a forward operating base at Enzulebu in the western region to protect our oil resources. In conjunction with the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, the Ministry of Defense has ordered six patrol boats for the Ghana Navy to help in the protection of our maritime resources and our oil fields. We have increased since February 2017 the UN peacekeeping daily earned amount from 30 United States dollars to 35 United States dollars and, and consistently ensure the troops are paid at their operational areas rather than being paid here at home. Although there are still some important issues to be addressed, I want to assure you that other accommodation and equipment needs of the Ghana Armed Forces will be duly resolved to enhance efficiency and morale. Whilst congratulating once again the graduating officer cadets for the successful completion of their training. I wish to commend all the award winners, especially senior under officer Daniel Upoku Buedu, who was judged the best all round officer cadet of regular career course 58. I wish the graduates all the best and God's protection wherever the call to duty sends them. May I ask all of you ladies and gentlemen to be upstanding for, comment, for conferment of the Presidential Commission on the graduation, Graduating Officer com, Cadets. Three, three, six. By the power conferred in me, by the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana, as the Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, I do hereby grant you the graduating officer cadets of regular career course 58 and short service commission special duties course 56, the President's Commission into the Ghana Armed Forces. May God bless the Ghana Armed Forces and bless our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. Please be seated.